Good morning, this is Claude Fullenfor. It's uh, very rainy out here in Queensland, in Brisbane, Australia. And I am taking this opportunity to stay indoors and put down some thoughts here so that I could share with you how we can get ahead in life in 2013. These simple ideas will slowly move you forward in the next few days and a couple of weeks that I'll share thoughts through video with you. Now, what we want to do is we want to see that there are four ways we can earn money these days. One is being an employee. Second is to start a small business or get self-employed. And we'll cover each of these in detail. Number three is buying a, a medium to large franchise. And lastly is investing savings in shares and property. So let us see first the benefits of becoming an employee because most people finish college and become and become employees of either a firm or a large company hoping that they will become very comfortable in the years to come and so let's break this down and see the benefits of employees firstly they have fixed hours the secondly they have fixed income they get holiday pay and sick leave they get bonuses once a year and they mainly get a lot of security that if the firm is successful, they have their job. Essentially, employees have a job and they don't have to take home the business worries each day when they go home at night. Now, there are downsides of being an employee. Employees have fixed pay or salary. They don't get anything extra and they don't share in the profits generated by the company. They will not get paid if they do not work and they work under severe stress and pressure from their bosses to perform so that the company can make profits. All of us can relate to this. Now, what do most typical employees do if, at work? They work really hard with the whole idea of getting experience so that one day they can either go to another company and demand or hope to get a better job with a good, better salary or they can opt for working overseas and earning more money in a foreign country. But there's, a, there's normally a downside to that. And the downside is that though they earn more money or dollars in another country, the surplus money or the extra money they earn goes to pay for their running expenses in that other country. Most people do not think of the, this equation that comes into the picture. It's only the surplus money that they can save that they send home to their families as savings. And this does not amount to a lot. Now, most people spend 10 to 20 years working overseas in a foreign land when initially they thought they could work two, or two to four years on a contract and then come home and live quite comfortably with their families. So 10 to 20 years sacrifice to go overseas to earn more money for their families and that's a very big sacrifice most people do and quite often husband and wife father and mother will go out and work overseas and leave their children with the, with the grandparents hoping that they can give their children a better life now when these people work the long hours and the many years overseas they hope one day they'll come back and they'll be able to either uh, retire well or open a small business most people come back and find that their retirement funds do not actually give them a good lifestyle when they actually come back to their homeland. Now, they either find a job that they can take up in their in golden years, when I say golden years, from age of 55, 60 onwards, or they turn into self-employed people, uh, driving a taxi, small business, etc. So, once they take charge or they start a business of their own, they move into another category called the self-employed category. I'm going to cover that the other category in the next in the next section. So um, because um, that category has benefits as well as drawbacks. And how, how I hope today you have learned from this simple um, coaching class that there are benefits of being an employee, but there are downsides sides to it as well. So I look forward to seeing you in the next coaching class. Until then, take care and goodbye.